Coaching soccer was uh, a love of my life. It was like an extra child, and uh, I paid a great, great attention to it. I think that it also helped me grow as a person. I believe that coaching um, had a tremendous impact on me and helped me have impact on other people. Many people don't realize that coaching involves a lot more than the game itself. There are things that happen before the game and there are things that happen after the game. And sometimes the coach is a major part of that. And uh, driving up and down the highway, picking kids up and all the way down 95, the end of the state and traveling to Jersey or wherever we went was always a, a freebie thing. And uh, yeah, I think it made it all more valuable to me as a coach to be able to contribute that way to help other players. So my approach to coaching, early on especially, was, was tough love. And I, I was very hard on players and I really made them work super hard. But as time went on, I learned that you didn't have to be like that. You needed to be strong in your convictions of the game and the rules, but you also needed to be careful of how you treated the players so I enjoyed very much getting to know the players better, some on a more personal level, and spent a lot of time with them. I also found that players that had certain kinds of attitudes were the players I wanted, and those were the players that were always successful. Hank Steinbrecher was one of those, Ron McKeachin was one of those, so I learned that lesson early in my coaching career, which contributed to my success because I knew those kind of people were the people that didn't quit, wouldn't give up, and always would do their best. I think the strength of the United Soccer Coaches is the, number one, the unity that we have together. We kind of stand together for what we want to do and accomplish. But I think much more than that is the instruction. Um, there are hundreds and hundreds of seminars at the National Convention. You can pick a great number of them and go listen to wonderful coaches tell you how they do things, why they do things, and you can even learn administratively how to run things better. So I think that has had a tremendous influence on me and many, many other coaches in the country. It's just, it's, soccer's been a huge part of our life. We still get together to watch matches all the time. We're huge fans of the English Premier League, so it's just, it's, it's been just a, a wonderful ride, all to my, thanks to my dad. I think just having sports in your life just keeps a regiment that is important, like a balance in your life, so that was one thing that was important growing up, that we had education, but we also had that sport um, part of our lives, um, and it helps you get along with others. There's like so many, Good things that came in my development because of my father's involvement in soccer. Him being there as a father at all of our games was important. You know, as our children all started to play, you know, we wanted to make sure we were at all, all their games. And not only were we at their games, but my mom and dad were at all their games. And it was just, as a role model, uh, he was just awesome as a father, awesome as a coach. And uh, it was great. So much of what you do in coaching carries over to life and life skills. And if you can learn to deal with situations in coaching where you're uncomfortable, and you can translate that into your life, and it helps you live better, helps you get along better, because in, in playing, is you have to get along with your fellow players if your team is gonna do well. And so you learn that. It's, it's a big lesson in life to get along and do the best you can, no matter what the situation is.